Hello, my name is Marianne Richardson and welcome to my book corner. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be teaching you about multiplication facts for those very difficult ones that are so hard to memorize. I'm going to give you some tricks about how to learn the difficult multiplication facts using rhyme and having a little bit of fun. I've isolated six of the most difficult multiplication facts to learn. The first one is seven times eight. And I came up with an interesting drawing. Look at this. It's heaven's gates. And we all know that heaven's gates are not made with pixie sticks. But the reason that I came up with that little rhyme is because the words heaven's gates and pixie sticks rhymes with seven, eight, and 56. Look at it now and you'll see the correlation. When you're trying to remember what seven times eight is, just think of heaven's gates and how they're not made of pixie sticks and say, heaven's gates are not pixie sticks, but seven eights make 56. The second rhyme and multiplication fact that I've isolated is six times eight. Six times eight is 48. And so I thought to myself, what rhymes with six and eight and 48? And I came up with another nonsense picture, which is brick weights make poor skates. So when you think about what is six times eight, think about brick weights. Brick weights would be awful to wear, wouldn't they? And they would really make very poor skates. But brick weights make poor skates rhymes with six eights make 48. And so let's look at that. Brick weights make poor skates, but six eights make 48. I think that will help you remember that. Now let's look at seven times six. Seven chicks, if you had seven little chicks, would mean that you had plenty of chores to do. And so today, this rhyme, seven chicks means chores to do, rhymes with seven times six is 42. Think about those seven little chicks and all the chores you would have to do if you had them. Seven chicks means chores to do and seven times six is 42. The next rhyme is six times six. I thought of a clock and how it just ticks away. He ticks and he ticks for 30 clicks. Ticks rhymes with six, so when you say ticks and ticks, that rhymes with six times six, and 30 clicks rhymes with 36. So the nonsense rhyme for you to remember what six times six is, is he ticks and ticks for 30 clicks. Six times six is 36. The next multiplication fact is seven times seven. I thought about seven times seven and how it's 49. And I thought about little pigs with the number seven all over them. And if we had seven number sevens on four pigs and those pigs were free, you would have seven sevens on four free swine. Let me say that again, because not only is it a nonsense rhyme, it's also a tongue twister. Seven sevens on four free swine. Seven sevens on four free swine. Seven sevens make 49. 
I bet you don't have trouble remembering that one now. The last one is going to be 8 times 8. Of course, 8, the number, is the same as 8, the action of putting food into your mouth. And so it was so easy to come up with 8 and 8. But how do you find something to rhyme with 64? Well, in this picture, there's a picture of a person who has eight and eight, and then there's nothing left. So you're going to need to fix her more. So the rhyme is, I ate and eight, so fix me more. Eight times eight is 64. Maybe think of pizza, something that's your favorite food, and you just ate it, and you ate it, and you want your mom or your dad to fix you more. So eight times eight is 64. I hope you've enjoyed learning these multiplication facts with the nonsense rhymes that are associated with them. And I hope that you have a lifetime of learning and knowing the multiplication tables. They will benefit you all your life. Come back to my corner and listen to me read some of my children's books. Have a nice day. I love you.